Hey, what's up guys, Indian Sense here. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. Today I'm gonna talk about fan favorite Shishu Uchiha as part of my new series reviewing old SS and S plus tier mains. I mean he is liked by almost everyone including me in this game as well as anime. Maybe he is not the top anymore but we still like him. If you guys have been playing this game for an year or so, you might remember when Shishui came in the game and he was a game changer. He was top tier defender as well as top tier attack main. He was also good in final room. But due to more overpowered characters getting released by Bandai, he has gone down in the rankings. But nevertheless, we are gonna talk about what made him so overpowered and why current meta supersedes him. If that sounds interesting, let's jump to episode number 1 of the series. First, let's talk about what made him overpowered in the old days before current meta hit him. His teleport gave evasion buff and speed boost which made it impossible for all defenders to tackle him. I mean doesn't matter who he was up against, his massive evasion is very useful to himself and all allies on the same floor. Due to the massive evasion, the enemy hits used to get miss all the time. I mean all you can see is miss. Now although his damage output is really not that high but he sure ate time in defense. The only way to counter him was using ultimate on him or somehow seal or give him slowed movement or some kind of ailment. Well, there were not a lot of ceiling support units back then. His old 4 star kunai is capable of hitting the enemy from a long range and does decent amount of damage plus inflict all damage. The other 3 star combustive sword attack used to set up a good knockdown combo and has a small iframe, which can be used to avoid some ultimates specifically. Back in the days, there were many full room ultimates or multi hit ultimates. Now, coming on to his ultimate, Koto Amatsukami. This ultimate has haunted me for like one year. I mean, I summoned on every Sishui banner I encountered in this past one year, but never got Koto Maskami. I got his Rekit ultimate and Rekit 4 star for free from somewhere in the summons, but never Koto Maskami. But Bandai decided to give it to me from Ashura and Indra banner. Uh, what can I say? Well, never mind. His ultimate is single hit and full room. It makes him invincible for like 10 or 12 seconds and if the defender is tanky enough to survive the ultimate, he is inflicted with seal, dot damage and slowed movement, all are large effects. The bad thing about his kit is you need to have a lot of CP. And if you have a level 1 ultimate, it is never gonna work on good basis. I mean level 1 ultimate CP cost is 700. Current meta shinobi can use ultimate 3 or 4 times with 700 CP. You need his ultimate to be at least level 6 or 7. A max level ultimate is always good but a 6 or 7 ultimate also works fine since it decreases the CP cost and the cooldown. He was one of the very few characters to have an ultimate whose cooldown decreases from 60 seconds at every level. You could basically use his ultimate in every room with max level ultimate. He killed every fortress, he was overpowered in defense, he was literally the god of this game. It was fun to use him, then came his rekit which was not gonna lie, a disappointment. The only decent jutsu was his 4 star Halo Dance, which does multiple hits and good amount of damage plus inflict dot damage. The other 4 star and the ultimate were not at all good. He can be used to gate crash if you have ultimate at level 7 or higher. Just use the ultimate outside the final room and with the invincibility enter the room. Take speed boost and evasion and run around the room until your ultimate cooldowns. Then find a good opportunity to use your ultimate. He did pretty good for some time then as the game kept introducing other OP defenders and attack mission mains his ranking gradually decreased. As of now attack mission main ranking he is mid 8 tier, defense he is low 8 tier, final room mid 8 tier. So why did this happen? The current meta defenders and attackers have a lot of counters against him. I mean take Gara version 2 for example. Shishui's best feature is evasion and Gara decreases the evasion gives slows movement and seal with just one jutsu. I mean, a single jutsu of Gara literally makes Shishui helpless. He has no jutsu to counter damage pools of 6 path Naruto, Kabuto, etc. Once hit by that, only recovery is via his ultimate which gives him invincibility or some of your support can heal you. But even so, how often can you use the ultimate? At max level, the CP cost is around 400 and nowadays, 
almost everyone has a six path naruto and kabuto and gara version 2 in defense the only thing he can do against them is use ultimate his jutsus take up a lot of cp which is a disadvantage you can remove one of the jutsus and use the default chakra recovery but that's really not gonna help you as you might think it would a lot of people at this point might disagree since they still use him. I mean, he is good. I'm not saying he is useless or bad, but he isn't the god anymore. He is basically a veteran now, a fallen god if you will. Current fortress are meant to separate your team. Since he lacks trap clearing, he is not gonna be able to keep the team together. And manual trap clearing takes way too much time and skill. The current defenders are tanky and have multiple divas and ailments like seal, dot, paralysis, load movement etc. Which are all heavy counters to Shishui. Since he lacks damage output a lot of time he ends up leaving the enemy at less than 40% HP and they use the ultimate. If you want to use him in meta fortress then make sure to take top tier support because they will be the main source of damage and help you out when you are inflicted with dot or something else. Soloing with him in the current meta fortress, especially in Gokunin and all the other top tier leagues is like suicide. I mean with all the chakra eating installations and meta defenders, you can't do anything. Maybe you are able to pull it off, but most of us can't. As this game keeps on introducing more meta characters, his ranking is just gonna go down much faster. Coming on to conclusion, he is one of my favorite shinobi in the game and anime. And I think he is your favorite too by looking at the response. But harsh reality is he is not the god he used to be anymore. You can have fun playing with him but he is not consistent with his wins. If you want consistent wins especially in Gokunin and other top tier leagues, I would not recommend using him. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings if you are a Shishui fan but the truth is truth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop down a like and comment and if you are new hit that subscribe button and bell icon. Follow my social medias, links are in description. And also let me know in the comments what do you think about this video. I'll see you next time. Sayonara.